Dude, let's fucking play the music first. Whoa! Check the high scores. Some fucking stiff competition. Oh, fuck, too soon! If you hit it too soon, your hand breaks. What the fuck is your cat doing on the kitchen table? No! Why is there two spoons? Why do you need two spoons to eat your cereal? Why do you need two spoons? Luca, no! Yo, Luca, get the fuck off my shit! You ain't getting no fucking catnip for months, motherfucker! Get your ass back in the garage! I will move your litter box to the fucking street! You're a fucking cat! There's a pitcher of milk right behind you! Apparently the name my cat is a fucking asshole was not approved by Xbox Live, so they went with no Luca, no. Get the fuck away from my food! Fucking hit the cat, eat the food! Put it in your mouth! What are you doing? No! No! Oh! God damn cat germs! Alright, I think Luca learned her lesson there. Let's check out the cat toy. This is a cat toy. What the fuck is this? What the hell am I doing? Oh! 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 Yo, don't touch my fucking ball. Dude, my ball. I will fucking cut you. Don't touch my fucking ball, bro! What the- oh! Headbot, motherfucker! Meow, meow. 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 This game sucks. everybody, Circuit Main here, and this is The Brony Show, episode 275. And of course I am joined by my co-host here, well, apparently general panelist, Toa Koi, and no one else. Oh. <laughs> yeah, uh, we had Silent here a moment ago, but I guess he unfortunately had to run off and do um, a college things, and none of my other, and um... Suki is away. He's currently trying to get his hands on an early copy of Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite, since that's going to be coming out here uh, tomorrow. But apparently they're getting a little bit of an early release, so he's going to get press roommate. So we'll see Suki here for a, for a moment, but until then, apparently it's just me and Toa here to entertain you. Heaven help us all. So, uh. how's it going, Toa? Well, other than being sick, I'm doing pretty well. Hmm. All right, and, well, we're here to bring you everything that has come up with the Brony community this week. Of course, uh, the big thing is um, the NDA for Them's Fighting Herds, or Non-Disclosure Agreement, if you don't know the acronym, has officially been lifted. The veil has been lifted. The chain's unbarred. The wire's uncrossed. And the screen's unfurled, and now we can show in its full beta glory them's fighting herds. Of course, I would like to emphasize right now off the bat that this is definitely a beta. It is the first uh, iteration of this. It will, there'll be more iterations soon, and they'll get better every single time. But for now, it is a first iteration, and it is definitely a beta. In the meantime, though, we'll go ahead and show off what we do have so far, which is pretty exciting, especially with what they're indicating will be coming up in the future. But first, um, let's go ahead and warm up our vocal cords a little bit and get, talk a little bit about our daily lives. And what better way than what's up, Brony? So, what's up, Bronies? Or Brony, as uh, it were. Uh, nah, I'm, I've just been dealing with this for a few days. Hold on. No, it's good. Okay. Sorry. Uh, uh. No, 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 that's all right. Anyway, and well, there's not much going on for me at the moment, though this week is actually a kind of a build-up week, mostly because weekend the Salt Lake Comic Con is going to be up, open, and available. So Salt Lake Comic Con is uh, going to be starting up at the end of the week, and I'm going to be I'm trying to attend that as best I can. I'm, fortunately, there's going to be a little bit of a mix between me actually going to work and doing work things, and then going to the convention floor right afterwards. So I'm probably not going to be able to do as much as I normally would like to do, for better or worse, other than on the weekend. And uh, just making do with what I can. 
Well, Brightside, you probably get to see a lot of cool stuff. I'll try to see a lot of cool stuff. So I'm, I'm probably going to miss some of it, uh, though, that because, um, again, I have to work during some, some of the parts of it. Couldn't get the time off, but... You know, big convention. I'm in. I'm in the tech support sector. That means I'm with a bunch of other geeks. We all <laughs> want to go and geek out. What are you gonna do, right? Yep. True enough. True love indeed. All right. Um, well, I don't think we got anything else here. So let's go ahead and jump into the news here real fast. Of course, the news is um, largely brought to you by Equestria Daily. Because they have, they do great news coverage, and we want to go ahead and um, show it, show the um, highlights to you guys. First off, a big call out here for charity. The Seeds of Kindness charity album has um, headlined that a new album called a head, a he, headling. Did I really say headling? Healing. Oh, yep. that's a typo. Somebody typoed. A healing <laughs> touch is going to be released. Of course, right now they're doing the preliminary stuff, which means they're calling out for musicians. So people who are able and willing to create the musics and want to get their music out there for charity, now's a good time to uh, throw in and let them know that you are interested. Or if you know anybody that is a musician that would be willing to jump in for charity is also a great time to do so. So, yep, there... There's a lot of exciting things going on there. Along with that, uh, who here wanted to ever date... Well, sorry, I'm so used to being more than just Toa here that I'm kind of, I'm kind of going on to a general broad term. That's all right. I'm used to it. Hmm. Well, in any case, uh, who's wanted to date a, po a pink ponified pony? I think everyone that's a fan of hers at one point or another. Hmm. So a punk. Let's see. Yep. So, yeah, the punk dating sim is currently in the works with a bunch of uh, people, and it looks like Omega Ozone has decided to help out with some animations. It looks like it initially was just a... Um, it, they basically just released a little fan simulator video idea just for giggles, and a lot of people actually really love the idea of it. So, the punk dating simulator is soon to happen. That's exciting. Mm -hmm. mm. So, I hope you guys are ready to have your dating dreams come true with the equestrian party pony with a sugar addiction. And a little bit of a string problem. Mm, she doesn't have a problem. Her only problem is she doesn't have enough. She <laughs> never have enough string. Now, for a general um, interesting merchandise out there, if you want to buy it or if you have somebody that you can buy it for, <laughs> nudge, nudge, the My Little Pony dresses apparently have started to show up in Hot Topic, showcasing at the moment Applejack, Rainbow Dash, and Fluttershy. These are over once again at Hot Topic. It's an interesting little design choice, and they are definitely made for older female audiences or people that see themselves as females. So if you are a girl, have a girlfriend, and she's willing to let you let you dress her up in different pony styles, I envy you. But it's also a great time to have have him try this out. Because it looks like fun. If you didn't know that they were pony related, these would look like normal dresses. Well, except for the fact that the Applejack cutie mark is definitely there. Yeah, but you know what I mean. If that wasn't there, you would just go, oh, these are some pretty dresses. Well, they do have the cutie marks on them, so I know that they're pony related. And plus, it's Hot Topic. I'm pretty sure they have them advertised clear up to Doomsday. Yep, yep CC's right. Or people who see themselves as female would definitely be a an option. You know, to, mm -hmm. e to each their own. I am not one to judge. Pokes fun at it. We can poke fun at it, too. Mm. Well, speaking of not one to judge, who here wants to grab a blanket and plushy combo? I know I would. Oh, gee, I really do. I'm really not used to just having only one person here. Mm. Hey, I'm at least a steadfast person that's willing to be here even whenever he's not feeling well. 
Fair enough. Well, let's go ahead and uh, throw in a little bit to the My Little Pony Twilight Sparkle Pillow Buddy and Throw Set. So those yep. of you who wanted to have a combination of pony, plushie, and plushie blanket, you now have that opportunity over at Target. Comes with a little plushie and a little plushie blanket. Whether the blanket will actually be big enough to fit anything more than a forearm or the plushie made of any decent quality whatsoever is anyone's guess. It is Target, though. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And everyone knows what to get second for his birthday yep. or Christmas. And already the chat room is trying to find firearms, I'm guessing, for one of the previous things that we talked about. <laughs> Hopefully not the plushie. Personally, I think the plushie is kind of cute. I like it. I got everything but your room. Moving on. All right, and along with that, we also have, for the merchandise area, something a little more interesting from Kohl's. Chrome Pony. That's yeah, right. That hasn't been around for a while. Yep. Now, we're not dealing with the normal, everyday porcelain or plastic pony now. Now we're dealing with chrome. So now you can make your pony shine and shimmer like a T1... Like a, T-1000 ready to wreak havoc upon the unsuspecting world. Uh, now I'm just remembering the song from my childhood. Her favorite color is chrome. And of course, country song. Country song, take me on. And I don't know what the rest of the song. So country song. Take me home. Do uh, the place. I'm making... Uh, actually, that was a horrible joke anyway. I know. Though I kind of do, I'm kind of interested. Oh no, it's a girl's hoodie. Never mind. I'm not gonna say anything else there. Pony bot. Oh, I love that. Yes, yeah, pony bot. You can have your own pony bot there. How's that? <laughs> so yeah, big old shiny pony, and it looks like the markers are actually a little chromy tastic as well. So it it looks interesting to say the least. I actually would be kind of curious to see how this would hold up if you actually used it or colored with it. Plastic ponies covered in tin foil. Um, term a pony, Pinky. I'll bounce back. Oh, I love that. I'll bounce back. <laughs> Bouncing through a wall with a shotgun. Okay, I love our chat room there. Uh, they yeah. get, they have some great uh, ideas. Just, we have too many good people in our chat. I am a, I am a friendly nerd. I'm a friendship neural net processor with six elements of high speed hard drive. I have come from the future several times. I keep screwing things up. You'd think I would learn not to time travel. I'm Twilight Sparkle 6000. I'm here to friendship uh, you. To be fair, the auto terminator, he don't screw stuff up. It's Skynet that screws stuff up. Uh, I'll leave that one alone. I, you can't defend on him. You really can't. Don't even try. So, who wants to give an official birthday greetings to their friend? Well, I do, what damn it. I have a that it's going to be like those dancing elves type of thing. No, it's actually a little bit more interesting. Apparently, an, a, a quote-unquote official My Little Pony Happy Birthday to You has been released. And yes, it is actually fully voice acted by the original voice actors and everything. So, yeah... So yeah, for two minutes, they goof around, say that they're giving you a great birthday. Yeah. And also, it is it is a pretty fun video, though. Granted, I got a better um, my happy birthday video that I've been plastering with people for the last several months. But no, it's still good. I like this. You know, you can easily just say happy birthday in a text message. It takes somebody else to throw a pony video that everybody has seen several times over. Plus, it is official like, content. Yeah. What I basically like is Pinky being the still out of potty pony, but you know it's all in fun. And of course, it is more than just the four lines, which I gotta give them credit. At least they did. They went with the entire song instead of the just the first four lines that everybody sings. Well, 
for a long time you couldn't sing the song because no one, everyone thought it was still copyright, but it's apparently in public domain. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, oh, hold it, hold it. Okay, I'm not one to normally point this crap out, but I just noticed this. What? what? Apple Bloom's been demarked. They don't have a cutie mark on Apple Bloom. She's a blank flake again. And that silent blast. Hey, how's it going, man? Welcome back. I just, I just came to disappear again. Oh. Mm -hmm. Well, you want to give a quick heads up on what's been going on with you before you disappear? Just, just being, in, just being in college and and failing a class or two. Because apparently they linked the fucking grades together. Ouch. Well, keep my fingers crossed and hope that you can pull out somehow. You still got a few buns. And I still don't get. I still don't understand why Cuphead is twenty gigs. How is that twenty gigs? Uh, because of style. Fair enough. Dude, it's a two. It's a two D side scrollers. Two D games don't usually ha Don't usually go past like probably a gig or so. But I'm saying the style because... Let, let, let's just figure it's probably poorly optimized and doesn't do much to try to save data space. Yep. All right. Okay. All right. Well, it was awesome seeing you silent. Oh, for what? For however long you could stick around, at least. Yeah. And what is the? Th what are we talking about? What are? What is on to today's notes? Ah, well, we're talking a little bit through some news here, and then we're going to be talking about. Them's Fighting Herds, which has officially released the NDA as of three days ago. But not many people have ac had access to the beta, so... Yeah, but... I know. That, which means we get a nice little sneak peek, finally. Mm-hmm. And, of course, the chat room is losing their minds over the Manticore's face. Yep. Mm -hmm. Honestly, the Apple Bloom missing a cutie mock... I'm just shocking that up to, hey, this was deadline. We already put so much effort into this. We no, I know, I know. Why not put more effort into it? I, I know it was just a quick two-minute happy birthday video that they threw out of nowhere. I'm just having fun with the fact that I actually spotted something for once. Wait, where? It, Whose they, birthday would it be it for? Uh, show now. Anybody and everybody. It's literally a happy birthday video for anybody who wants to give it out. Literally, the whole point is to be a happy birthday video. Uh, what would it be under? So, a... and and of course they do. Ha Apparently, this video also came out in with several other different languages too. All right, circuit. So what's the? All right, I'm going to, before I can take a look at it myself. What is the um? What's the video's name? Uh, My Little Pony, happy birthday to you. It's in the backstage chat as well. Mm -hmm. I just dropped it in there for you. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. And now, who wants to create a pony in the My Little Pony movie style creation? Of course, this would also be ridiculously loud because I can't do anything to change the volume normally. So I have to go and mess with the Chrome settings. So, yep, in celebration of the My Little Pony movie, which is coming out in a few weeks, you can actually create a pony of your very own in the movie style. Granted, hola. it is... Inc hmm? Hola, hola, hola. So are you gonna are you going to make Circuit Main in its in your own style in its in the movie style? I honestly it's wish I could. The only the unfortunate thing is yes, this is ridiculously limited. The the main and body colors are all really bright. You can't really do much with that. They do got a lot of di a few different main styles, but well, dude, it is it is pastel. And plus all the yeah it. It's incredibly limited, to be honest. I mean, you click on a main style, it already gives you the tail style that goes with it, so you can't mix and match. It's just match. So, so yeah, it's uh, it's fun and all for giggles, but if you're honestly trying to create your character in this thing, you're going to be sorely disappointed. I'm oh not no, gonna lie. I wouldn't. I wouldn't do. I wouldn't be able to do that due to my hairstyle. Yeah. 
uh, circuit in the backstage, I have the one that I made and my character from back in 2011 on the old Tony Creator. Well, you know what? I'm going to accessorize the hell out of my... Give it everything! My pony must have everything! <laughs> He's got it so, out! Yeah, sorry. Our main thing, where's the other guys? That, uh, well... Off getting Ultimate Marvel versus Capcom. Sorry. <laughs> Capcom versus Marvel Ultimate Universe or Infinite or whatever. Marvel versus Capcom Infinite? Yeah, that Infinite. one. It didn't release today, did it? Technically, it will. Um, GameStop is letting people come to pick it up at 9 p.m. Yep. They're, not, they're breaking street date? Not exactly. It's it's kind of complicated, but they have permission to do it, but only at 9 p.m. exactly. So he went to go and pick it up for his friend, which um, it should be 9 o'clock in his area pretty much now. So he should be coming back here. Short, he should be here very shortly. That's what blanked. Uh, blanked is blanked. Um, available 19th. But... Mm -hmm. Wow. We're the first one. We get it before we get the U for the first Japanese game comes out before Japan. Go yeah. figure, right? Yeah, apparently we get we get it tomorrow. Nice. It releases tomorrow and it's a, and Japan gets it on the 21st. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Now that one I wouldn't have expected. Hmm. Well, one last thing to throw in here real fast in the news, and this is probably something we're probably going to do at some point when we have a week where we just don't care or we want to try something ridiculous. Ponytone! Have you ever wanted to have an online group session of, of singing karaoke? No. Well, too bad. I we can... have a way. Dang. <laughs> so, yes. You can create a party of one or many. Get the link out. Put everybody together into a big old room, and then you choose the song you want to play, ready up, and sing to your heart's content while everybody can listen and judge you. Okay, question for this pony tone. Is it show music only, or is it going to be, like, any song? Hey, Sooks. If it's only show music, they got a hell of a lot, because there's, a, there's hundreds of songs in here. Hey, Six, did you pick up your limited edition? Uh, well, it wasn't mine. It was my it was my roommate's. So he got the infinity he got the infinity stones. He got the he got the championship edition. <laughs> Which yeah, by the way, I'm gonna let's see. I took a picture of this damn thing sitting in the back of my car. Oh, we're probably gonna see a picture of this in a moment. But, uh, Backstage would be good. Yeah. Boy, gaming. But, uh, Oh, the by the way, and it was to the point that they basically brought it out, and they were like, you know what, fuck it, do you want to just take it in the box it shipped it in? And I was like, yeah, whatever. Wow. Now that is awesome. It's, it's dude, it's GameStop. Uh, A lot of times they don't, they stop carrying when, it, when it's time to close. Maybe not. Pay it probably. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There it is sitting in the back of my car. It takes up the entire seat. Yeah, you're supposed to be getting the Infinity Stones a figurine. And some other shit. Plus then again he also got the he also got the skins for War Thor, the World the Gladiator Hawk Evil Ryu and Command Mission Command Mission X. Oh my god, I picked the worst song to demo this with. It has literally been 30 sec 30, 45 seconds of music. I mean it's great and wonderful, nice music, but I can't I, there's nothing to sing. <laughs> he also doesn't doesn't he also get Sigma? I do not remember what all comes in there. Oh, I am going to kill people if Sigma is in there as a figure. No. I don't think that's a figure. Sigma is a playable. DLC. Yeah, Sigma's DLC. And then again. Uh, uh, all right, this is me singing. And oh, yeah, obviously, I suck. But hey, hey it's at least detecting my voice circuit. here. Sorry. Yes. Stop or I'm gonna make you make your vocal cords improve. Calm. Other than that, I was about to say this Ow. is the thing. You're making my ears bleed, man. Calm down, calm down. I'm just messing with the song, the and thing I... here to show it works. Yeah. Oh yeah. Speaking of which, the um, the trailer for Riding for Injustice 2 dropped. 
Cool. And bes- with li- with riding, you also get black lightning. Ooh, nice. Hmm. All right. Well, um, there's our news here. Now, next we're going to go into the fan submissions and suggestions. And this one is nice, quick, and easy. Of course, um, we just got the challenge of the week, which was ponies as or is statues. And we're going to start off with our favorite um, weird person that we constantly scrutinize and then question ourselves afterwards. Of course, we're talking about Dr. Bristle. The, he's the biggest troll. He's an he's an interesting oddball, and he his art if can if you can call it that is again one of the same, because it's very obvious that these were made out of uh, Pony Creator, and all he did was literally color them gray. Just acid, just basically an acid swap. Essentially, acid. of course, the more hilarious thing is um, the description he has for this. In honor of Dr. Bristle's achievements of Equestria, as well as Lovely Maine's achievements, his girlfriend, Mayor Mayor erected a statue in Ponyville to commemorate his lifetime legacy of shaping minds and transforming lives. For example, he would help out ponies who have homework problems and stabbed against those intimidate him, including Commander Tempest Shadow. The MLP characters are still living at this point, but the statue will one day be erected again, just in case. Until then, this would be a demonstration of how it's perceived by the public. Soren, one of those ponies, particularly Pegasi, amazed at how the statue looks. Wait, Bristle got a girlfriend? I'm as shocked as you are. I'm just like, let him be happy. No, fair enough. Uh, no, no, you're not as shocked as I am, because Chris Chan has a girlfriend, so... Fair enough, fair enough. But, yeah, he, he this is his perception of a statue, and I gotta admit, I, f- I feel heavily like this is insert insert personage into thing in order to make your make yourself bigger than you are kind of deal you know like the I whole think maybe, like the whole mary okay. sue that's actually that's supposed to be you but not you at the same time kind of deal yeah that may be bristle and like an an, o, an oc he made for his actual girlfriend i don't know well it is a girlfriend oc it's not the i i think so anyway i'm i don't know too much about the details i'm probably better off not knowing mm-hmm. it is that though Moving right along here. Now for Mike Nice. He decided to go with a pony ice golem wandering around the tundra endlessly. Which, technically, it is a pony as a statue. Technically a statue of ice, but still. Mm-hmm. Cold Dust, I am not sure of anything. And apparently Suki vs. Circuit Infinite is now a thing, and I will go with that. That that yeah, could be that, as his that name. could be the next art the next art challenge. I wish it could, but I already have a good one to go with, which is kind of funny thinking about it. Yep. But um, yep. Here is a uh, ice ice pony. Gotta love Mike Nice and his amazing um, little works of art there. And mm-hmm. now, finally, in the Toa category, we have Toa's adventures, and of course, we have. A bust, uh, bust to Zai. Mm-hmm. Neil before Zai, apparently. <laughs> well, he he does he does he does basically sponsor a circuit, so. Appar- he does. Yes, yeah, Zy- <laughs> apparently Zyco does sponsor us. Oh. 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 <laughs> well, I for one welcome our Zai overlords who have never maintained content. Uh, content. Content, contact. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And uh, of course, we apparently we have a fourth one from Deathlight Productions. So I'm grabbing this. Deathlight. Mm-hmm. So Deathlight has also made one of his own. This is definitely penciled artwork. The Guardian. I like is this it. Is supposed Brilliant. to be? Is this supposed to be a reference to to Destiny? Destiny no. 2. Not really. I can't, I can't, I can't tell because I'm behind due to being on like Mike's artwork, so I haven't seen Toa's yet. I don't think so. Actually, this it, it just looks like a general guardian statue, especially with "Wake me when you need me" on the bottom inscription. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I do like uh, I do like Deathlight Productions uh, artwork here. So thank you very much for throwing it in there. I hope you don't mind me uh, advertising it a little bit, man. 
You'll get commissioned soon. Apparently, Deathlight hasn't played uh, games in years, so this is probably reference to nothing. Oh, it's a oh, Halo. Hey, it's a Halo three, 3 ref. Oh, wow. cool. that's an old school ref. I like it. Well, old school considering. Considering Halo three came out on the three sixty, which is now how long ago? Um, in years it, ago. It's probably been about three, uh, two, three years now. No, it's been like a decade. Oh god, I have no concept of time anymore, do I? Hang on a second. Halo 3. Boss, what the... Halo 3 is a 2007 first-person shooter. Five. Oh my god, I do have no concept of time. Yeah. Uh, on to almost 6. Huh. Hooray, I'm right for once. <laughs> You're dead on. <laughs> well, Master Chief said to Cortana. Cortana. Yeah, I think he misspoke Cortana. Oh well, but it's what Master Chief said to Cortana at the end of the game. It didn't take long. long it didn't take long for him to be woken up. Uh, that's us. Uh, that's a us. Huh? Anyway, mm -hmm. so that is it for our fan submissions and suggestions. Next week's challenge: simple enough. Ponies and flowers. But Ponies it's not Valentine's food. Day. Actually, it's for Mayor's Day, which apparently is a thing. I, ass I, I assume it's supposed to be like what a Mother's Day? National I, no National's Girlfriend's Day. No, I think I think it's like Women's Day really. Not even a Mother's Day, but like Women's Day. Uh, except they actually celebrate it. Well, yeah. Well, what are you gonna do? That looks like ninety percent of Equestria's populace is female, so yeah, they're gonna celebrate it. You have no choice. <laughs> you will be trampled if you don't. It's like Valentine's Day for us. You don't celebrate it, you're either lonely or you're going to be destroyed. 